there was this girl in Brazilian Playboy, super hot, she was a model, and I had like a pro camera at the penthouse, this was in my, my last place that I was at, and we had it set up, she was gonna come over, I was like, I can take some pictures of you on the balcony, but there's a really nice view, etc. This is a Tinder girl. Yes, there's a Brazilian Playboy girl on Tinder. Thank God for Brazil. What's up guys, John Anthony here from John Anthony Lifestyle. Today's video is going to be about recovering from being blocked, okay? Now a lot of you guys, you can make a mistake over text, okay? And the girl is going to block you. I'm going to show you how to recover and get the girl back on board to replying again, okay, in most cases. Before we continue, please subscribe below if you have not already. New videos every single day. So you don't miss the video make sure you turn on the notification bell and if you have interest in joining my eight-week mentorship program uh, link in the description jump on a call with me I'll go over the details for that okay so why do girls block you it's especially with the really hot ones it's like walking a tightrope okay so as soon as you make a mistake and say something that's off-key or you know make maybe you make a sexual remark that's over the top or maybe you're insensitive in some way I'll give you some examples and how I recovered those but let's say the situation becomes you get blocked, okay? So what you can do is you can have a second number, okay? Like a Google Voice number, or you can download like a burner app and it'll allow you to create a number and you can usually choose the area code. And what you wanna do is message her from that second number and just say, hey, whatever her name is. All right, so let's say there's a girl, Jessica. She blocks your normal number. You're going to, and now keep in mind, if, it's, if you like went way over the top and it's like, she's like super pissed, this strategy probably won't work. But I'll give you some examples. But here's the strategy. Um, so she blocks on your regular number. You're gonna hit her up from the Google Voice number, the burner phone number. You're gonna say, hey, Jessica, okay? Now she's gonna say, hey, who's this? And usually they respond like very fast, okay? Any, any girl that says she's super busy, doesn't have time to text, try texting her from the, another number, hey, whatever her name is and they're gonna respond almost instantly. Now, after she responds, you want to say something that like, you know, softens the fact that you're messaging from another number. So usually I say, hey, not to sound weird, you know, not to be weird or anything, um, but it's John, this is my work number. I, was, I thought we had a lot of potential, I was really confused why you blocked me. Can you please unblock me and, and talk to me about it? Right? So your goal is just to get them to unblock you just so you can get the objection surfaced, okay? So you just wanna find out what the objection is or what the problem is so you can resolve it, okay? So let's say that, here's an example. And, and then like, let's assume she's like, oh, like this and that. And then you say, oh, I didn't mean it that way. She's, can you please unblock me? She unblocks you and then you're good to go. This can happen with rotation girls. This can happen with new leads. Okay, any number of situations. So let's give you an example. There was this girl in Brazilian Playboy, super hot, she was a model, and I had like a pro camera at the penthouse. This was in my, my last place I was at. And we had it set up, she was gonna come over, I was like, I can take some pictures of you on the balcony, but there's a really nice view, etc. This was a Tinder girl. Yes, there was a Brazilian Playboy girl on Tinder. Thank God for Brazil. And she was like, okay, my grandma, like, it got to be like close to the time where she was supposed to come over and she's like, my grandma showed up. I don't know how long she'll be here. I'll let you know in a bit what the, what the status is. Okay, so this was like five o'clock or something like that that she was supposed to come over. And then around like seven or eight, um, she's like, oh, my grandma's still here. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to come today and I'm really busy during the week. And I know that leads can go cold over time. I've seen it time and time again. So you wanna set the date as fast as possible. So I said was, well, she's been there a few hours. Can you tell her that you have to go for a photo shoot? I'm sure she'll understand. And she said like, oh my God, I can't believe you would suggest that. This is my grandma. She comes first, etc., and blocked me, okay? Now, you can also enlist a friend, okay? You want it to usually be an advanced friend or you can just tell them what to text. And so I had my friend Joe, Joe Gunn, who's one of the coaches on my team, um, he messaged, the girl and was like, hey, blah, blah, blah. She's like, hey, who's this? And then he's like, I'm friends with John. 
Um, he didn't mean anything. If you already know what the objection is, because I already had some information, like I knew it was related to grandma. He's like, he didn't mean to be insensitive. Um, you know, he was just, he had everything all set up. He was ready for you to come over, etc. Can you please unblock him and talk to him about it? And it almost works even a little better when a friend does it. And you can like impersonate a friend as well from the Google Voice number or burner phone. You can say, hey, I'm friends with John. It almost works a little better with the friend because then they feel embarrassed. Like, first of all, like your friend knows like your guy's business. And second of all, they like feel embarrassed to the friend that the friend's like, hey, this is a little bit ridiculous. But the whole goal is to like objection handle and get them back on board to respond. So he did that, got her on block, she ended up coming over, she ended up being a fuck buddy for months, okay? And she was trained in tantric massage. She used to be a tantric massage therapist for a few years. So that was very nice as well. There was like regular tantric massage. Um, and there's, there's many other examples, okay? You can, when you invite a girl straight to the house, she can get offended, she can assume you're just looking for sex, boom, block, okay? When you um, make like a sexual remark, she can be offended, boom, block. And, it, and it, a lot of times like things were going very well. Let's say that you set a date, okay, the girl agreed, and then you made the rookie mistake of like, you know, putting some extra things on that were risky, like, you know, extreme sex sexualization or just any kind of sexualization. And now she's like, oh my God, this guy's just after one thing, blocks you. Hey, on the second number, she replies, um, it's John, it's John, whatever, not trying to sound, you know, not trying not to be a weirdo or anything. This is my other number for work. I really didn't mean any, you know, I was just trying to flirt with you. I'm not just looking for sex, etc. Can you please unblock me? Like, I'm, I'm really interested to meet you, etc. It's not going to always work, but it gives you a chance to surface the objection. And so, to some of you guys, this might sound like creepy, where you're like, you know, stalking the girl or like, you know, she's trying to, to block contact with you and you're hitting her up. It's not like you're just going to be like harassing her or bothering her. It's really just one attempt to surface the objection or deal with whatever it is that you fucked up because you can't contact her anymore. Okay, so you hit her from this other number. Hey, sorry you had the wrong idea. Or hey, like, sorry I had a crazy day. You can blame whatever you did on something else. Sorry I had a really crazy day today. I'm in a, a pretty bad mood. You know, I didn't mean to say that thing. Okay, I didn't, that's not how I normally am. I want you to have a chance to meet me, etc. Can you please block me? If she's like, no, I don't think so. Okay, you know, sorry, it didn't work out. No big deal. But at least it gives you a chance to resurrect it, okay? So, with that being said, I hope that was very helpful. Uh, please subscribe below if you have not already. New videos every day. And guys are getting really, really, really good results through the mentorship. A lot of guys are making huge breakthroughs very fast, getting five to 10 dates a week by week two. If you have interest in learning more about that and hearing how I can help you in a customized way in eight short weeks, click the link in the description below and we'll get on a call with me personally and I'll tell you what I can do for you. Okay, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you on the next video. Take care. Some do it for the income, but we do it for the outcome Some of us are active while others just let their mouth run No doubt son, this is not just about fun We will not be outdone by these cowards who shout scum